Cooper Muse, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing for my new camera. Yay! I know that the video quality isn't quite as on point as it should be. <laughs> and so I did some research on kinds of cameras that you can get and I looked at what YouTubers are using and you know there are a lot out there. Most people are going with the Canon 3Ti and the no wait T3i <laughs> and the T5i. There are some others that are using like uh, Nikons and other kinds. Funds weren't exactly what I wanted them to be and so I probably haven't got like the top-notch camera considering that I really need to use a camera at my workplace as well given the fact that a number of people have left work and they're usually people with the cameras that take photos for our like a girls night scene or a real life for life I thought well time to step up get a new camera it can double as also something you can use for your videos I'm a seeker I, I went into the good guys and I said hey I have a little bit of money what can you do and so this guy talked to me forever <laughs> about what you can do and obviously I told him what I wanted to do so I want full HD videos I want the ability to plug in a microphone to make sure the sounds good don't get me wrong I love my MacBook Air it's great for general stuff and I love my blue snowball I love my blue snowball I'll use that for my gaming videos and stuff like that but in terms of you know face on vlogging type of videos a webcam as you start is a good idea and hence up obviously what I've used but if you can update to a, a HD camera or a camcorder or whatever you want to do um, go for it I didn't want a camcorder because obviously I'll be using uh, the camera for photos for our workplace and camcorders not the best for just general photos <laughs> so I had to get a camera that does both so this is the one that I got it is a EOS 700D Canon now this is a twin lens kit apparently it's better to have two different lenses and the lenses are an 18 to 55 millimeter and a 55 to 250 millimeter to be perfectly honest I have no idea what that means I'm literally beginning at the start which is usually where you start at the beginning <laughs> this is going to be like a really steep learning curve for me and I imagine that the first videos that you get you will notice the difference it won't be the next videos that follow this directly after because I'm gonna need to spend a couple of weeks figuring out settings and all that kind of stuff but it will definitely be sooner rather than later because I'm one of those people who must know must know now um, so let's open this I'm I'm one of those people who go in and I want this if it has extra stuff whatever I'm good with that <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure what actually comes in the box he said there's lenses and I thought that was a good thing first things <laughs> first thing says I'm a lens um, it's a, a lens a giant ass lens look at this guy boy yeah see so I'm going to enjoy Figuring out how the hell to use this. Oh, it's a Canon. Did I mention that? It's a Canon. And wouldn't you believe it? There's a big ass book to go with it too. Just for a lens. If you have any hints or tips on how to use it, um, or best settings, if you've got one of these and you've found like what works, um, yeah, tell me. <laughs> I know that YouTubers at the moment, like the guys that are in the know and that are using a Canon uh, T5i if they could update to it um, because apparently it's one of the best cameras you can use and all that. And I asked the guy at Good Guys, the good guy, he's a confused guy. Good guy, not good guy, good guy, confused guy. I asked him if the 700D was somewhere similar, given the price um, for it, in the range of the, the T3i. Okay, get to the point, get to the point. Point is, this is a Rebel T5. 
Lady Five Eye. No wonder it was so expensive. What an idiot. Him and me. Look, don't get me wrong. This is probably going to be like the best buy I've ever done in terms of setting myself up for YouTube properly. But I didn't expect to be getting it so soon. Because, you know, they say start low and then work your way up. No, no, no. I sat on a webcam and now I'm going to this guy. I'm really nervous now about using this. Oh, this is one thing I was looking for. Ooh, <laughs> that's the warranty card. I think we're, yeah, we're getting to the main shebang. All right, so we get a strap. And then this Kananen. We then have a power cord. Lovely, look at my prongs. I got some prongs. Yeah, so this is must be how you connect it from your computer to the camera. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is the battery. That's a charger. It's a charger. I knew that one. Got you in the bag. This is the other lens. Now this is the 18 to 55 mil. Alright, so this is a beast. I didn't realize how big this was. Oh, it's got one of these. That's awesome. It comes out. <laughs> so it's an L LCD screen. And if I do it gently, yes, yes. It turns around so you can see yourself. I like generally to use it in terms of like making sure that I'm in the frame because I worry about not being in the frame. Um, cool. All right, so on here, but I haven't got the battery in. That's why nothing happened. Right. Okay. So testing it out. Look at my Harry Potter collection. There we go. A friend of mine went into the Universal Studios in uh, London when she was there on a trip and she got me a lovely little postcard. Another favourite writer of mine is Isabel Carmody. Definitely love her work. Michael Critchen's Lost World is what I'll be reading next. So that's my unboxing for the Canon. I'm just going to call it the T5i now instead of the 700D because it's the same bloody thing. If you have any hints or tips or you know someone who does have a video on how to use one of these properly and get the most out of it, please uh, leave a comment with the details. That'd be great. Um, obviously I'll be doing my own research, but hey, every bit helps. The more you know. <laughs> Look forward to the videos in the future. Give me about two or so weeks just to work out how to use it. Please remember to check out my Instagram. That's where I do most of my social media stuff in terms of book reviews and extra stuff on the box openings I've just done. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I hope you guys take care of yourself. Keep wrap. <laughs> this is really kind of creepy cool because I was just thinking about getting one of these for reading at night time. It's a nightlight. Uh, click a one onto your book.